What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing, I guess, a little breakdown and I'm the main part is going to be lighting. A lot of people have been asking me how to do lighting and it's just hard to explain. If you, you DM me on Instagram, I can't really explain it. So this is the video on how I did my lighting on my Colin Sexton design. Um, It's pretty simple. It's more simple than you think it is. You just got to learn how to do it. I learned from doing it my own way and also Benny Productions video on YouTube as well. So um, I'll just turn everything off to the background and then, okay, so we're at the background. So I'll break down the first part. So this is the sky. So it's just this image. I think I'm pretty sure I found it on Unsplash or Pexels. One of the two, those are free image um, sites where you can get high quality images for free and you won't um, so they're royalty free and they're very high quality as you I mean this one is sized up so it's not as high quality but we wanted this sky right here so none of this none of these clouds really matter that much and then I added um, a color fill layer but then it's set to linear dodge add to at 63% and then you can see on the mask right here I painted in um, so if I disable it it's just a yellow and then if you add the mask in just adding yellow into it and then i did the same thing with a gray layer that doesn't actually do that much i don't know why that's still there um and then you added the text so the text is the Cavs logo with a color overlay so you double click on your layer and then set it to white so without it see it's just the Cavs logo and then you have the uh, the rest of the text, so the same font, and then his last name. And then I added in some birds. See, this is just the birds and the birds image, and then added a hue and saturation. So you want to click colorize, col colorize. Sorry about that. Um, and then set it to the color you want. So this it's it's orange because there's orange lighting around it, and then just mess it around with it until you match it. Um the most similar so you see it it adds just a little glow orange glow around the birds and i'm pretty sure yeah this the birds layer actually has a blur on it so um if you go to filter i know you can't see it but if you go to filter blur gaussian blur and then you can mess around with it i'm just gonna hit cancel but you'd hit okay um and then there's an exposure layer so that's just brightening up around the edges so the orange is even brighter. So there's the birds. And then now moving on to the ground he was standing on. So see this original image. image I got this one from Pexels. Um, so see how it doesn't match at all. And then I added exposure layer where the light would be hitting. So think about where your light would hit the light source. So for instance, the light source is coming from the sun. In this image it really depends on where you make the light source you might have to make a light source but in this one since it's the the sunset it would already be glowing so you'd add exposure see it's just like on the edges and then there's also some right here because the light would be uh glaring down on this don't worry about um how it doesn't look good right here because um there's another image on top of it and then there is an exposure later darken it because it wouldn't be this bright if it's a sunset it, um if you set it to daytime then you could you'd still put exposure to darken it to match the images more but this one it needs to be really dark and then again same thing with the birds but this um it's around yeah it's the same exact settings as the birds it's just painted on again where the light source would be hitting so that's the back and then same thing with the front so Again, it doesn't match the background at all. It looks like it would be in a daytime scene. So this darkened it up first. Then added back in some of the lights. Added some of the orange back in right here. Again, it's the same settings as all of them. Because you want to make sure every time that you're using the exact same numbers. So it looks and matches and is correct. And then add in more orange right here. And it looks like there is some right there. It's not supposed to be like that, but it was hidden. And then, since Colin Sexton's name or nickname is Young Bull, I decided to add a bull in. This is where more exposure, as you can see right here, there's tons of exposure layers. Um, 
So this starting off with a bowl, then added shadows where his feet are, where the bull's feet are, and then darkening around the whole thing because he would be um, having more of a shadow since he is, or the bull is a bigger animal. Um, again, darkening it up, it, you really just gotta mess around with it. They don't all have to be the same on this, you just have to make sure um, that they blend in and look correct to the scene. And then adding more shadows in where the light wouldn't be hitting. Um, if you, again, um, I'll show you actually how to do this mask part. So, if you have, I'll just add a, uh, exposure layer. So, say you want to make the whole scene brighter. So then you, this, this doesn't work correct. I'm just giving you an example. So, set up that and then see how you have this white mask right now. If you click control or command I, then it sets it to black. And then you can take your brush so if you want to paint it back in, you'd put it at white, but if you want to take away, you put it to black. So take your soft brush, and then you just paint in. That doesn't look correct, but that's just like an example of how you get all these masks. Um, and then I'll delete this layer. And now back to the bowl. More darkening again, where it would be in dark. Then I put an orange ring around the whole bowl because... Or not, not around the whole bowl, just like where it hits. So this is the brightest part, should be right exactly where it's hitting. And then the legs, there'd still be some on the sides that are facing toward it, since the bowl is at an angle. So then, that's that. And then you have an exposure to, I darkened up the feet. This one, I didn't do anything to because Colin Sexton was covering it. So, and then again, added a glowing ring around the whole bowl. And then here is Colin Sexton's shadows. And then now for the main subject. So this has a lot of exposure layers. And, or sorry, not exposure, exposure, uh, adjustment layers. Because I also did CC to him as well. So if we open up the camera raw filter, uh, again, this might take a long time. Oh, there, actually it was pretty quick. So um, you can look at my settings again. Temperature up 15. Didn't mess with exposure, contrast, all of these. Um, and then I use color mixer, did a few adjustments with that, so if you can see, here's the original, here's with the edits, the camera, see, you can really, really make a dynamic change with camera raw filter, so you should definitely learn that, I should be coming out with presets soon, because a lot of people have been asking for presets, um, so here's the darkening spots, where, again, this isn't perfect lighting, I'm just showing you how I do it, there's way better examples if you look on Instagram or anywhere else, like there's portfolios like Behance. You can um, look at those and that will help you a lot. As well as you can go to Calisoscope's YouTube channel and he has a lighting tutorial too. So, And he has helped me a lot with lighting, so I'm sure you will learn something from that as well. And then we darken up the bottom of his feet where it wouldn't be as bright because of the shadows. And then darken the whole image again. All of these have different settings, none of them are really the same, and then selective color changes the color of it to more of a red, so you can see here I messed around with stuff. Selective color is definitely good for your player CC and final CC to add it to the end to make it look um, and match even more. It, it really changes how your designs look in the end. And then this one, actually, I don't think this does anything. It may do something. Oh, yeah, this is, so this is just tweaking the reds a little bit more. It's just a very minor change. And then here's the main, so again, orange where the light would be hitting, which is mostly all around his body. Besides in here, there wouldn't be that much orange. And at the bottom of his feet, there would, at the bottom of his feet, there wouldn't be as much lighting either. And then darkening up his leg because they wouldn't be as bright. This exposure layer is just um, painting in where there's creases. You can see how it just makes a very minor change, but it does a lot. And then here, again, yellow outline ring. That helps a lot as well. And then, um, as you saw in my CC video as well, um, if you just duplicate your camera raw image, then you go to filter. Again, you can't see it because it's cut off. I'm still trying to figure it out. My program cuts off that top half so i'm trying to figure out how to fit my whole screen in for you guys 
Um, so then you go to other high pass filter. Some are around 17 to 19 set it at, and then you can see that just makes the image pop more. Then added another linear dodge add opacity is down. This time it's orange, just adding in another light source up there. And then I duplicated my whole my whole design by clicking Control Alt Shift and E. So that duplicates your whole image. And then I went to filter. Again, you can't see that. Blur. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I went with motion blur. So it blurs out part of it. And then I added a mask. So it just blurs out the bottom parts. because So it's not as visible. It just makes the design look um, a lot better. It puts your focus on the player and not their feet as much. So it like draws you into the middle of it. And then you have my logo up at the top. Um, let me know if you want to see how to make um, logos for your page or anything else. Drop that in the comments below and I'll get back to you and maybe I'll make the video in the future. And then last thing, my CC. You can just see how much, it's just four layers. Four layers can change how your design looks completely. So there's a color lookup I added. This one is crisp warm look set to 24% fill. Vibrance set to 100. That just really makes a minor change, but it makes it pop more, as you can see. Brings Makes the colors way brighter than they already were. And then another color lookup this time is edgy amber set to 40% fill. And then last photo filter set to orange 35 percent density that's my cc uh, i usually have unused layers so this is just stuff i didn't ever use i think actually no i did use this um so it's like a vignette so it again makes you focus more on the player and not on your anything else but um or not focus as much on the other stuff but focus mainly on the player because that's the main focal point you want to see and then again clicked Control alt shift e um i don't know what the command on mac would be that's i'm just on windows so that's the command on that so if you go to i'll show you my camera again because you can see again it makes it so you can see the difference very much um has changed in it and i usually yeah in all my designs i add camera raw that's just part of my cc method so this one i tweaked the exposure contrast up five then messed around with these again to make it the way i wanted it in the end and then texture clarity up just a little bit since you already put texture and clarity on or you should be putting texture and clarity on your subject you don't want to put too much it just brings in the image more so you want to put just a little bit and then vibrance always put vibrance on mostly everything again this is what makes it pop a lot so i mean you can't really tell with this but it's um a combination of everything so it just ties it in together with a lot of stuff like that and then here i mess with just a few so just reds oranges yellows because that's what's mostly in the design since it is sunset and then i messed around a little bit with color grading you got I still haven't fully learned how to color grade, but I just was playing around with it, seeing what looked good. So when you use um, color grading, just like go around with the wheel like this and see what looks best for your design um, and then pick the one that looks the best. So again, here's before and after. I'm going to hit cancel and that is how you do lighting. If you If you want me to go more in depth or show you how I did lighting on another design put that in the comments as well sorry um for not putting videos out on mondays like i said i would keep doing school has been busy like i've been saying with the past few videos so hopefully i'll be able to get on a more consistent posting schedule and um i need more ideas for youtube because i'm i'm running out of ideas what to do each week i always gotta think really hard or ask around for because i want to help you guys i'm not trying to do something that helps me out i'm just trying to help other designers grow in the community so like always have a good rest of your day and see you next week